This effect is called echo print. You have probably seen this effect in iconic music videos like Dua Lipa's Training Season, Risk It All by Ashar, Be Runaway Just Like That, even in blockbuster films like Tenet, Matrix Reloaded, Doctor Strange, and many more. And today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to shoot it and create this effect step by step in Premiere Pro. But the best part, once you know the process, you can recreate this effect using any video editing software. And you don't need any fancy gear, just your camera, a little bit movement, and some creative editing tricks. So without wasting more time, let's get started. Let's start with the shooting. First, I mounted my camera on a tripod. Then set up the background light to separate the subject. Key light for the main illumination. And a ring light for extra edge. For the first shot, I filmed myself doing a simple action. Next, without moving the camera, change the settings autofocus to manual. Shutter speed 1 over 10, ISO 200, aperture 3.5. Then I record 5 separate clips of myself walking in different directions, still with the same camera position. This will become the ghost trial layers. Lastly, I capture a clean plate 5 seconds of the background. Now import all of the footage in Premiere Pro. Drop the clean background onto the timeline. And place the main action shot above this layer. Now we will remove the background from the main shot using After Effects. So right click on it and select replace with After Effects composition. Let's save this project as echo print. Then select the rotor brush tool from the toolbar. Double click on the clip and carefully draw over the subject. And hold on the alt button and drag to subtract areas that you don't want to select. Also you can change the toggle alpha view mode to better see the mask. You can even change the overlay color for better visibility. For the hair fine edges, we can use the refine edge tool. To resize the brush, hold on control, left click on mouse and drag up or down. Alright, when the selection is done, let's fine tune the settings. Increase the feather for softness. Shift edge to push in or out. Reduce chatter for better stability. Once you are satisfied with the selection, then click on freeze button. This will analyze and lock the mask across to the entire video. Then switch to toggle alpha mode and click on Ctrl plus S to save it. And it will automatically update back in Premiere Pro. If the playback is lagging, then render and replace the composition. Select the format to QuickTime and change the preset to Apple ProRes 4444. Then click on OK. This will render and replace the layer into MP4 format. And if we turn off the background layer, we can see that there is no background into the first shot. Now let's turn off this layer and add the first working shot above on it. Then move over to the effect control step, select the pen tool and draw a mask around the subject. Now click on the mask path stopwatch icon. Move forward two frames and adjust the mask path to follow the subject. Repeat this process frame by frame until the subject exits the frame. Then increase the mask feather to blend it smoothly with the background. Now we can speed up the working motion depending on your preference. And repeat the same masking process for all working clips. Before going to the final step, let me introduce my EditWiz plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. This summer, say goodbye to your editing struggles. Let's introduce EditWiz the ultimate plugin extension for Adobe Premiere Pro. Edit professional level videos 10x faster, 1000 plus pro elements, endless possibilities. Apply with one click, drag, drop and done. All effects can be easily customized. 
works with any resolution. Perfect for beginners, content creators, bloggers, pro video editors, studios, production houses, and everyone. A new era of effortless video editing. Purchase one time and access lifetime. Get edit with today and make your videos stand out from the crowd. It's an all-in-one plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro. To get the download link, you can check it out from the description. And I have already made a complete video about this plugin. You can check it out for more detail. Alright, after masking the all working clips, move the main action shot above all of them. But you can leave one or two working clips above on it to add more depth. To enhance the ghost style though, duplicate some of the working layers and shift their timing slightly. This is stacking adds more realism to the motion blur. And finally, I will apply an orange and teal color presets from my Editwiz plugin. If it feels too strong, simply reduce the opacity. To give it a true cinematic texture, I added a layer of 16mm film grain. Once you are done, render the sequence for a clean preview. And that's how you can create this echo print effect from scratch. And if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more creative tips and tutorials. Until next time, keep creating.